time has officially come for the battery upgrade on our Airstream. So if you follow the original install about close to a year and a half ago, uh, we put these Walmart 12 volt batteries in. And the goal with the Walmart ones was not for us to keep those for eternity. It was just to get at least a year out of those. And then during that year, see how much boondocking we would actually do and see what we needed to do after that. And so in that time, we've done um, a lot of boondocking. <laughs> this is a beautiful campground. Totally amazing view from this spot. Look at this view we've got just outside our RV. This is amazing. What do you think? No, this is fantastic. The weather's not even like fantastic, yeah. it's still fantastic. We are within like 15 minutes of the Little Bighorn Battlefield. Actually, we are within 15 feet <laughs> of Little Bighorn River. Which turns out we go without hookups like over a third of the year. Uh, we really loved having solar and having our batteries, uh, but we wouldn't mind a bit more power. And that's kind of been the thing is we've got to really monitor if it's cloudy for multiple days, we want to run something heavy, but yeah. Um, if you can do lithium, it's a pretty awesome upgrade. And so we've partnered with Dragonfly Energy, which they make the Battleborn battery. And I'll say this, before we partner with them and decide to do this install with their battery, um, we reached out to them. Like I did my research, I tried to see what I wanted as far as lithium. These are exactly what I wanted. And so that's really the only way you guys that see us partner with people. We partner with people that we love, that we trust, and that honestly we were probably wanting to do business with anyways. What makes this so cool, and part of the reason we hadn't done lithium yet, is you typically can't just take lithium, pop it into your current system, and you're good to go. You've also got to upgrade everything that's running that system. Uh, to be able to handle the correct charging rates and everything that goes along with lithium. So it's not just the cost of the lithium itself, it's the cost of the battery management system that goes with that. But what's cool about these is that battery management system is built into each battery. And what that means is you take out your old 12 volt lead acid battery, pop this battery in in its place, maybe make some adjustments on your current equipment as far as the way it's charging, but for the most part, you're good to go. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> and that's very simple as well without having to upgrade everything. And so we're gonna be sharing the install of six of these for 600 amp hours of lithium power in our Airstream. And so the goal today is not necessarily to get all of this installed because I know I'm going from five to six. So I'm gonna to have to buy some stuff for sure to put the six in, but I'm wanting to get everything out, see what I've got, look at the connections, look what I need to buy. And then maybe if I can get everything bought and get it in today, that's fine. But if not, um, I'll wrap everything up tomorrow. And I've really got to make sure I wrap it up by tomorrow because Marissa will not be happy <laughs> if this couch is sitting in our living room uh, more than probably a day or two. So one of the cool things we won't have to mess with with lithium is ventilation. We sealed our flooded batteries here and vented all them out, but we don't need all that with lithium. So I'm going to start getting all that unhooked and cleared out and just see what kind of space we've got. We currently are five batteries, uh, one sealed in this bay, Three here, one here, but but we have this spot in the back over here where I'm thinking I could put my sixth battery. This is optional from what I understand. Uh, they tested their batteries to work with most any converter charger, but I did still have the original charger on here that was over 10 years old. Um, so they did give me a uh, Progressive Dynamics lithium charger that I can hook up and use with this, which I'm gonna use. Uh, so I have to replace the other converter with this one. This one is slightly bigger, <laughs> so... Uh, I might have to move a couple things around, but it looks like it will fit. Just gonna start unhooking some stuff. Let's see what we got. So kind of curious on the size and weight of these, just like a uh, visual and pick it up test. <laughs> I know these are 33 pounds. I think this might even be heavier, honestly. Virtually the same as far as width, depth, same there. Height, same height. So, so that's, that's great. I mean, that's what I want. This is a, uh, these Walmart ones are 27 DC. I was, one of my fears was it's the same size as a 12 volt, but your 12 volts are actually different sizes based on what 12 volt you have. So you do want to check your 12 volt, your bays, but I couldn't imagine an RV having like smaller battery based storage or cramming in batteries than what we're doing in our Airstream just about. So I think if it'll fit in our Airstream, it'll probably fit in your RV too. <laughs> This is my first problem. I don't know, you know, these new batteries don't use the same connection, so I don't know if there's a way to convert that. If I had something that could crimp this and make the connections, I would just make it, but I don't. So I've got to be thinking about a way to get this round connection to go to where it'll um, screw onto the other connection or whatever. Other than that, 
pretty smooth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my current converter in here that came with the Airstream with this uh, Progressive Dynamics one. And you get this thing to fit. <laughs> it's a little tight, everything's tight in this Airstream, but uh, I think it'll go. The good news is that it does fit in here okay. The bad news is that I can get the positive and the negative to reach, but I cannot get the ground to reach. So I'm gonna have to, I guess, get a shunt for the ground here and then get more ground to reach around the backside where that needs to go. I already know I'm making a trip to town anyway, so I guess adding one more thing to the list <laughs> won't be the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the batteries inside to see how they fit here. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm stuck till I go to town. Kinsley, Kinsley, uh-uh, out. No, get out. <laughs> go outside, way too much for you to mess up. So I think I've done everything I can do with what I have. I've got a list of stuff to get in town. I've called in the big guns, right? You gonna come with me to town? Uh -huh. See what we can find? Mm -hmm. I feel like I made good progress. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's load up. So that only took about an hour and a half longer than I thought it would. We got most of what we needed to Walmart, Lowe's, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, and McDonald's. <laughs> so for a few minutes, I thought my goal might change to actually getting this done, but I think it's changed to uh, just try to get power back in the RV because I couldn't get the adapters I needed for the outside batteries. If I can just get these four going, which is plenty and we got hookups anyways, <laughs> but get those going and get the converter going and then I can add the two outside when I get those parts in. Well, change of plans. Um, we got back, and this is my fault because I know better than this. I had in my hands one of these electrical bar thingies or whatever these are um, that I was gonna use for the ground, but you can probably see what I was talked into instead. The guy in electrical at Lowe's said, no, no, you don't need that. All you need is one of these, which I, I even asked him, I said, are you sure that's gonna work with solid copper wire to grip it? He says, yeah, yeah, it'll work fine. It doesn't work fine. It's about 25 minutes to Lowe's from here. <laughs> and I can't, I can't get it going tonight without getting that ground to the new, uh, the new converter. So I'm heading back to Lowe's and I'm gonna get the uh, $5 part <laughs> I should have grabbed anyways. I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back in about an hour. And uh, we're hopefully gonna get this thing done because we have no power anywhere in the RV, even our fridge. Um, I thought it would stay on because it's hooked up to a 120 on its own outside, but I guess it still needs the 12 volt to work. So, you know, <laughs> I gotta get, we gotta get stuff going. Hit the lows. I'll be back. I'm back. It took about an hour and I'm going to see what I can get done. I've got one, maybe two hours of daylight left until I've got to work my flashlight. So. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it. at least four batteries um, so far. 12 volts kicked on, seems to be looking normal. So now I'm gonna kick on the 110, see if the charger kicks in and starts charging um, the batteries. Right now, it's pulling 2.5 amps, which is about right. We probably got a couple amps and stuff going. This should shoot up, hmm, I think it's like a 60 amp charger and it depends on how low the batteries are, but this should shoot up, you know, 30, 40, 50 amps. Uh, if this is working like it should, uh, there it goes 57.6 amps. So it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. The charger is charging the batteries. Those are 13, eight. I haven't memorized all the voltages on lithium yet, but everything looks to be doing what it's supposed to do. Do you like what I've done with the place? <laughs> <laughs> it's real homey. It is, isn't it? Look at that. No couch, lots oh. of tools. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I didn't uh, blow anything up and it looks to be working so far. You continue to amaze me. I'm pretty amazed myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of you guys I know may think I'm technical, but I'm, I'm, I'm good at finding technical people. Um, I'm not necessarily the guy who does. You're better than you give yourself credit well, for. I try to know just enough to not mess up too much is my goal. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, pulled that off. Um, everything's working. We've got the 110 working, the 12 volts working. It's all the solars cranking. 
Uh, not the solar's not cranking, it's dark. <laughs> See, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the lithium is cranking. Um, we're going to test this stuff out tomorrow, our next video. So that's going to be pretty cool. I can help you with that. Yeah. I can yeah. do that part. That's my part. <laughs> Marissa will gladly test out what, what this stuff can do. I know we kind of put it off and went this route where we waited mm -hmm. and then went all in. We're kind of all or nothing is how we roll anyways. Uh, and I think, uh, I think it's been good. I'm glad we kind of fueled out, felt out, figured out how much boondocking we're going to do. If you've seen the places we park, the places we go, the things we see, and you want to be there with your RV without hookups, it's, it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. We're super excited. I think this is going to be a really big step for us and mm -hmm. something we've kind of realized we've needed. We're mm -hmm. kind of, yeah. that's kind of how we like to do things. We get things as we see a need. And so we've definitely been ready we for were that there. We ne were ready. next step. Yeah. So this is exciting. I think it's going to be a good a good change for our, mm -hmm. our travel. I think so too. So we're back in our hometown and been here a day or two and Hensley has wasted no time with going <laughs> to the other grandparents' house already. So we're going to go pick her up and uh, call it a night and we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>